answering the question on social enterprises because that's the easiest one. <laughs> um, so yes, all, all firms, regardless of size, regardless of uh, whether they're registered or not, or whether regardless of what their objectives are, they are um, covered by the Philippine Competition Act. But again, um, as I mentioned in my talk earlier, um, remember that the standard is SLC, Substantial Lessening of Competition, so that if you're you're small, you're not dominant, therefore you cannot be uh, in breach of abuse of dominance, right? So, so, that, that's, so while everyone is, is covered, it, it's pretty clear in the law um, whether uh, in, in a specific situation, um, a small firm may, may be in violation of, of a particular provision. Um, now, moving on to, there's a bunch of questions, I think, um, pertaining to transportation, national broadband plan, and um, RICE. Um, let me just, so that that's, there's a, a lot of issues there, but let me just broadly explain how we proceed on that. So when it comes to dealing with government, our mandate, we have a mandate to advise other government offices whether or not um, certain policies are anti-competitive or not. And again, um, we always have to keep in mind that these other offices would have their own mandates and their own social objectives um, to achieve. So in the case of LTFRB, of course, um, their mandate is to make sure that the riding public would be safe, for example. Um, in the case of a national broadband plan, um, internet access uh, um, would, would obviously be their mandate. So um, having said that, uh, how we proceed is when these government offices have uh, programs and plans and and laws that, uh, and regulations that they are about to issue, uh, we they, they either come to us for comments or sometimes um, when we feel like there's uh, a great need for us to weigh in, even when, when we're not asked, we politely try to do so. 